so it's Sunday. And I am headed to pick up a dinner. A YouTuber, Soulful Tea, she's in D.C. She sells dinner. She just started back selling them. And they've been a sellout. I didn't buy the ones last week, but I bought one for this Sunday. Because um, it's that one thing the plate looked really good and then it's like some serious soul food she got some fried fish fried cabbage sweet potatoes mac and cheese and a drink comes with it and it's only 20 bucks and that's not expensive at all and it's not expensive considering she's trying to make a profit but I guarantee she's not making a whole lot of money off those dinners. But she loves to cook. So anyway, I'm headed there to pick up my dinner. Come on back home. Because I got some other stuff I need to do. I got a paper I need to submit. And I'm going to submit that as soon as I get home. Okay, guys. So I just got back from picking up my food. From soulful tea and if her food is as good as the way her food looks on her channel Lord have mercy so let me show you what I got Wow I got fish I got cabbage macaroni and cheese sweet potatoes She gave you some fork, spoon, knife, utensils. I got the tea. She was giving out tea and water. You got hot sauce to go with it. So, yeah, I've been waiting for this ever since I placed the order Thursday. So, let's try her um, mac and cheese. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. Now, let me tell you, this, this is fried cabbage. Let me tell you about this cabbage. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, her mom made the cabbage. Oh, look. Mm. Look, y'all. Look, this is sweet potatoes. Now, I tasted some of the juice. Mmm. Her food is delicious. Now the fish is whiting. Look at this fish. She um has a flower. And mm. Mm. Her seasoned flour, I had the, I bought the spicy because I like spicy, but I'm going to try her mild. But this is what she used on her fish. This fish is good. Mm, her food is delicious. Mm. You know, when I did my um, Popeye's, Chicken um, sandwich review. When you taste that chicken sandwich, it does a dance in your mouth. That's what this food does. A dance in my mouth. Mm. That's good. Mm. All 
on this for $20. Now, let me say this. Some people was on her page talking about that's too much. No, it's not. Mm-mm. Not in the DMV area. Mm. Not in the DMV area. It is not. Mm. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't in her business because I don't know her like that. I watch her YouTube channel. But all this for $20. She ain't making no heck of a lot of profit per person. She might make profit as a whole, but she ain't making a whole lot of profit off of me. Not $20. This is homemade macaroni and cheese. This does not come out of a box. The cabbage, that's fresh cabbage. Sweet potatoes, those are not canned sweet potatoes. That's, that's whiting fish that she had to clean and season and she might have bought the fillets i don't know what i'm saying is this is not a cheap meal by no stretch not at all um mm -mm, no I'm a, and another thing, her channel, her channel started off as a cooking channel, but now she does a variety of things, and I love it because she got her grandkids, her kids, her business is a family business, she is really, really ambitious, she is like transparent, her mom is in her videos, her sister, her sister New Life Journey, that's her um sister's page. Um, yeah, that's her, I mean, channel. That's her sister's channel. She has a channel as well. Her sister lost mad weight. And again, she's really transparent. She really is. She's really transparent. Soulful too is too. You can't get no more transparent than them. But, um... Mm. This is good. She ain't skimp on nothing. You hear what I say? She skimp on absolutely nothing. Now I can't wait to see what her next menu is going to be. I hope she continues to do it. But you know, now in all honesty, this kind of stuff is really tiring. Because you got to cut up the cabbage. Make the homemade macaroni and cheese. You got to fry the fish. You got to cut up potatoes. I hate cutting up potatoes. Mm. Even if you got help. She has a goal of either getting a food truck, a restaurant, or both. And she's a sweetheart. She really is. I like her a lot. Based off of her video, she does bingo. On Saturdays, her and her brother. She's coming out with a seasoning. She already perfected her flour, so she's coming out with a seasoning. Um, last month, every Friday, she did um, cocktails. Um, now, this month, she's doing sip and paint. And it's all on YouTube. I watch the sip and paint. I don't join in because I procrastinated buying the paint and the canvas and all of that. But I like watching her. I love she got wonderful conversation. Saturday morning she does on the couch. And one thing I like about her, she doesn't mind shouting out other channels. She doesn't mind sending you to other businesses. Um her cousin, 
sells clothes. So she had her cousin on the on the couch, a little fashion show of her cousin's clothes. She um did these um little cake cups. Excuse me. She ordered from somebody. Now, she could easily make her own cake cups, but she ordered from somebody, did a review, and told people to buy from them. So, yeah, but my Sunday dinner is the best. I'm going to be honest. Mm. It is. This fish is delicious. And see, I'm a seafood connoisseur. I love seafood. So, I'm ready to stop eating because I done ate too fast. But I'm definitely coming back to it. But um I'm getting ready to watch on um YouTube Black Black Acres of the Gambia. Now I think they're very entertaining. It's a couple who left the United States with four of their kids and moved to Gambia. They say they much rather would be in Gambia than here. Now, let me say this. They're pro-black. I watch them because they're entertaining. And I like their views as far as... Um... Well, they're business-minded people. Um, and even if you don't agree with all their views, they're very entertaining. They don't try to force you to believe nothing that you don't want to believe. They don't do that. They just tell you how, what they believe. But I'm going to watch them because they're on live right now. And I got a paper to finish. These are homemade, homemade, um, homemade sweet potatoes. Mm. They don't come out of a can. I'm going to be honest. I hope she never uses can. There was a, um place on 8th Street Northeast. If anybody lives in the DMV area familiar with D.C., you know where 8th Street Northeast is. They had a soul food restaurant. When it was open, it was good. French's. But then, once they started getting bigger and bigger, they started using canned food, canned greens, canned string beans. Pan sweet potatoes and if the 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 um they um they went down. So I hope she doesn't do it. But I will say this about Soul T. She's smart, she business minded. And on top of that. She um she understands that she needs to start off slow. She didn't jump in head first to make seasonings, flowers, dinner. She took her time. Once she perfected one, she started on another. One time she said she tried dinners and didn't do well. So she tried it again. And now this week and last week, she was sold out of dinners. Mm. Oops. I'm not going to call her. But I'm going to do a shout out. When she's back on live. And let her know how much. I enjoy her dinner. If I could post it somewhere. Oh I know what I could do. Instagram. 
Instagram, I'm going to let her know how good the dinners were. This dinner is absolutely delicious. She ain't skimp on nothing. But anyway, let me watch my Black Acres of Gambia. I got some other work to do, and I'll see you guys later.